So we've got the last of the koi fry now that I've uh, been raiding on in the fry pond in the shed. I've boiled them up now. You can see they're all a real good decent size now. Bar two of them, but um they're just gonna have to get in there and fend for themselves in the outdoor the outdoor pond. They're all bowled up there getting ready to go and get acclimatized. I'm just gonna give them a PP and now before I put them in and then get them in the bag and acclimatise them. But as you can see, lovely quality of these ones. Um we've got three Kiko Kiki, oh, sorry, three Kiki Ryu's Ray or whatever they're called in there. Um, we've got three Deutsch Kukakus and two Deutsch Sankeys. Little tiny Ogon there, Platinum Ogon. And a Matsubowaki is somewhere, really black one there, you barely see him. But they're the last of them now, so the fry pond will be empty. We're going to drain it all down, like I've said, do the maintenance on it, um, and get it filled back up and do a, better have a, a week or so fish to cycle before we add the new fry to it. Um, obviously on this one I'm probably going to have to salt it to 0.1% um, as I'm looking to go with the, um, the Cuttlebrook fry, and obviously there's a salted, so yeah, so we're going to get, get all this drained down now once these are in and all sorted. Um, I'll let you know they're getting on, and I'll do a vid. I'll show you them once they're all in. So they're in there now, just acclimatising. See them all there, eagerly anticipating to get in there. But this is all nice and clean. I'll give this a really good clean today. You see, pumps had a really good clean. I totally stripped the pump out. Um, took the impeller out and, and, and cleaned it. Um, a little tip for you that I mean, I recommend you they should do it once a year. I mean, mine's probably just over a year old since I've had it. So when I stripped that, that was absolutely full of basically fish crap and gunk everything. So obviously that's going to have an impact on the impeller movements. It's going to reduce the flow rate down. So. Um, Totally shift that back, give it a good clean, all back together and back in there now. Um, good vacuuming out. Um, give the shower a good cleaning. All the outlets a good cleaning on that. I'll give the filter that, that supplies the um, shower a good a good blast and a good clean as well. That water mint's absolutely growing like wildfire, which is nice. Um, also give the drum blasting with the air stone and, and drained all that down um, quite a few flies in this at the moment at the top let me see all the, I don't know if that's I'm not too fussed about it if anything it's going to be it's free food so what you see there a lot of fly larvae and, and flies um, anyone got any info on that let us know but I'm, I'm not too fussed about them food really in it so um but yeah it's all looking good he's got about another 15 minutes before i'm going to release these i'll chuck some pond water in there so they get used to it yeah uh, but, but all's good i see all, all these fellas now they're doing brilliantly the two that were affected worse with uh, flukes and had the raised scales and few sores absolutely fine now um, no signs of any sores, um, but yeah, I, I just think letting these fly in there now. Going off what the last ones I put in, they've grown massively since they've been in here again. Um, you can see some of them; they've absolutely grew the size. And so these fellows, obviously, they should grow a lot. Obviously, there's a lot of natural food in, in an outdoor pond with the algae on the sides, and obviously. You're getting the fly larvae on the sides and, and whatever. So there is lots of natural food in there uh, for them to eat when when I'm not feeding them. So it'd be good for them. Yeah, happy with the pond. I'm going to give it a little bit of um, like a paint. Um, this this ace is doing great. Obviously, I, I'm watering this with the, the when I'm doing my water changes. So. 
loving it. It absolutely exploded. Um, as for the same for the fat here, here as well. But yeah, we'll come back to you when we've released when, well, when we've released them in, so you can see them. So it's, the fry tank is uh, now empty and drained down with the last of the fry going in the, in the outside pond now. Um, I've drained this down just because I want to do some 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 remedial work on it. Um, all these creases I'm going to tape down. Um, obviously, if you've been following my journey with the koi fry, you'll remember early on. Um, I lost quite a, a significant number uh, early on because they were getting stuck in the creases and obviously weren't able to get out and drown them. Um, so obviously with the, the next lot of fry I'm getting, they're going to be a lot smaller than what I first got, so they're going to find a way in there, no problem. So all these these big creases here, these are all going to be getting all pushed down and stuck down in here. So we get no accidents like that again. Um, whilst it's empty, I was, I mean, I was contemplating on putting uh, a bottom drain on. Um, just for the simple fact that it looked better. Um, we wouldn't have no pipes going into the pond then over the top and stuff like that. But um, as I said, to be honest, uh, I'm trying to save all my money to put into the new pond. So... Um, what I'm going to do whilst it's drained down empty and I've, it's all had to go clean and now I'm going to drill a hole in the corner there bottom corner and fit an inch and a half tank connector um, the tank line and connector that's the, that's the one I'm going to do and just put two one and a half inch connectors either end and connect the flexi pipe from the pump and from the filter there so we can it'll be doing away then with having the uh, the pipe going over the top like it has been it'll just be all it'll be better that way so there'll be nothing coming on all we'll have going in to the pond then is the airline um so that'll, be, uh, that, it'll tidy up a lot more that um i'm a bit picky with things like that just makes it look a lot better plus the actual this 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 net here can sit flush then on top of the pond obviously with that going in it would never slip sit flush so um and the the I will let me less with fries, they are jumpers, so uh, if you haven't got a net and you get and you got fry, get one because they do jump out and you'll you'll find dried up fish on the floor in little corners when you're cleaning around and or what have you. But yeah, this is all draining down now. Um the door side of the pond tape should be arriving tomorrow. I've ordered that off Amazon. Um I've got the my nets there, got a bit of using. Uh, I'm just get I'm soaking them. Um in that fluke off obviously um with the the situation with the flukes i had all your nets need doing as well uh they've been done once i'm just doing them again just as, as a secondary precaution um so yeah i'm gonna get this all sorted hopefully i'll, I'll have it all done tomorrow and then well i'll just i'll just shut the ball valve off of that now so that that K1 that's in there now is, is submerged in the old pond was so it should be okay in in there the bacteria should be fine just for the day or two um same with the black box that, that's obviously still the the, the, um, the foams and the flow core is still submerged so, so that should be fine so we'll get the work done on this and then get it all i'll leave it a day for obviously to the silicone to dry on the tank connector and everything and let it all settle and then we'll fill it back up then with water get it all back up and running on a fishless cycle um so we'll give it a good 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 week and a half two weeks until the arrive. i'm gonna have to try and get them um a week friday if i can i'm gonna i said i'm, I'm gonna go for the cuttle brook ones so i'll um i'll give them a call and pay for them see if they can hold them for me until next friday but that's where we're at with the um the fly pond now so um once I've done the work on this one, it's all sorted. I'll do another video and let, and let you see how it is. Well, hopefully, fingers crossed, this system now will be a lot better than what I had on the first lot of fry. So we should have a good, a lot better success rate. Um, I'll take it outside now and just show you the uh, how the 
the last of the fryer doing in the outside pond. So, last of the fry been put in now. All seem to be doing fine, bar two. Um, you see near the top here, there's a little Matsubuaki. Just seems to be near the top, gasping for air. Don't know, it might be just a little bit of a shock and a change of uh, environment for him, but we'll keep, keep a close eye to him. Um, also, the little Platinum Ogon. He's, um, I mean, he's not coming to the top, he's just he's down on the bottom. Well, again, probably a little bit intimidated by the size of some of them in there with them. But, um, apart from that, that's what they're doing fine. All seem to be uh, holding their own. But, um, just this one, actually, just gotta keep my eye on him. I see him just here now. He seems to be gasping for air a little touch. I mean, there's plenty of oxygen in there. We've got two airstones going in there, so he might just need a little time just to get used to things. But we'll keep an eye out on him. But as you can see, they're all happy as Larry. Nice and clean the pond now. Nice and clear. I'm trying to see if I can find a little, uh, little platinum old on, but he's probably hiding somewhere. Well, this one's a nice little fish. I don't really focus on it, sorry. We'll see how he gets on, he should be fine, as you'd imagine. I'll check back on him in a few minutes, make sure if he swam down with the rest of them. So, all the fry are in there now, and they're all happy as Larry, to be fair. Um, this, this video is a bit back to front. I, um, I, 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 I give this a good good cleaning yesterday, good water change, vacuumed it all, cleaned all the filters out, uh, totally stripped back the, um, the pump and everything, cleaned the impeller, so then obviously added the, um, the the rest of the fly that was in the fly pond in the shed so they're all in there now and um going off like what i mean a couple of weeks ago we put, uh, put the fry in the first lot of fry in um they've grown great guns in there they've, they've put on some great size um i mean you can see there's one at the top now um the kiko kairu but Fluke problems totally cleared now. Um, two treatments have done the trick. Um, only issue we've got a start of a bit of a bit of long algae blanket. Well, I don't, I don't know, I wouldn't say it's blanket. We just a bit of algae on the side. Obviously, when you're treating with this fluke off, you can't have your UV on. So the UV has been off for two weeks. Obviously, with the humid conditions, um, when the sunlight does hit this pond, even though it's got a roof on over, in the morning time for a good few hours, so. Um, on that side there you can see that has started some growth of, 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 of green algae which I'm not too I'm not too fussed about to be honest uh, UV's back on now so I, I should imagine that will sort itself out most important thing is the, the fish are happy and as you can see I mean they're all up and about um, nearly had them hand feeding the other day um, so I'm working on that um, Perseverance is the key, I think, with it. Obviously, I'm trying them with crab sticks or ocean sticks, what you want to call them. Um, which they love. Um, they were having a sniff around, and but just not quite got the confidence yet to come up. But I'm hoping the next couple of weeks they will do because obviously, as soon as they see me now, of a morning of an afternoon when I'm feeding them and I'm coming from work or when before I go to work, they actually swim to the corner here where this water mint is here because that's where the uh, the doors are in the house because they, they can actually see you coming. Um, so they're getting more confident, but 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 um, all's good now. Um, as I said, yeah, 
once if I um done the remedial works in the fry pond I'll, I'll get another video on to show you what we've done um, and then it'll be one with the arrivals and of the fry which I'm looking forward to them um, so just a quick one this week um, again thanks for all the likes and comments subscriptions um, always great to interact with everyone uh, I hope you all had a good day and I know it's a bit late but I had a good weekend and you're enjoying this weather with your bonds. So take it easy folks.